G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Factorio, our Lake World series. So in this episode, we have a specific goal that I really want to get to. So two things. One, I want to, so we, we actually spent the last episode uh, reinforcing the um, copper supply from our copper outpost, which is here. And that is going brilliant. Need to put some more laser turrets there. Apart from that, you've got the train. It's loading up at the moment and it is going absolutely bonkers. Here's the unload there. Oh, there's the train there. Still unloading and we've got the poor copper um, um, this, this copper here, and I've been just doing a bit of manual upgrading to steel furnaces, but alas, this is not going to be forever. We're going to decommission this shortly. Uh, what I'm going to do this episode is we're going to just put another copper smelter, but with using steel furnaces here. Not electric furnaces, because I still want to use the coal, but steel furnaces, because I don't want to put pressure on the electric network. Uh, in addition to that, I've got a lovely brand new, well, no, actually not brand new, but inspired, um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, green circuit um, uh, production and I'd like to set that up and boost green circuit production to help with the yellow because we want green circuits absolutely filling this belt. I'm going to put them here, they're going to come in and it's going to be brilliant and that is going to absolutely help the blue circuits which will help the yellow science. So please jump in, enjoy the stitch up intro and I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so um, I'm just manually crafting some steel furnaces. Uh, again, poorly set up with them all, uh, but I wanted to show you this um, area here. So what I've done is we, last episode, we actually started moving as well. Um, the steel furnace, uh, sorry, the um, electric, uh, well, no, <laughs> the steel uh, steam turbines, which were all in this area running sort of north-south. Um, decommissioning that, freeing up that area, maybe for repurpose, but we're now putting them in here, which is nice and central. And uh, what we're doing is I'm running the uh, 4020 uh, 40, 20 to 1 pump. So 40 of the steam engines um, and uh, 20 of the boilers to 1 pump. So I've got one here which runs this array, one here which runs this array and one up here which splits and runs a 10 and 10 or sorry a 10 and 20 uh, double sided array over there. And this is all running off solid fuel which is brilliant. So coal is only going to be used for the smelting and that's it. Got some manual crafting of steel furnaces coming on because I forgot to get those going. But again, we will set up them all. Look how polluted this all is. I love that. It's I do like how polluted it is. Okay, so we're going to start it off here. It's going to be copper. And I do want to take, if I can, uh, and I want the robots to help in somewhat, but what I want to do is just get myself together uh, this. Uh, yeah, let's get together... Um, copy, let me go this one. Let me take this with just these guys, all right? And this is how we're going to do it. Um, in fact, uh, no, I don't want that. I want to do that again, but I want to get it without the power pole, but just that. Uh, that will do. Yes, that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is put it in here. Now let's leave a little bit of room. Let's leave a gap of say two with this belt here and let's just put this guy here and that we can use this as a bit of a basis of what we're going to be doing. I don't want to use these standard electric power poles and uh, oh, we haven't had an attack for a long time. Where's the attack? Now that I've got myself attack up here, we've got a Hmm, I don't think they're getting through. No, I think it's just being repairing some areas. Are they attacking anywhere else? No, the attacks are really minimal since we went to war and really got them. But that was a, a an interesting sound, that one. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. So we've got one uh, for the coal. Now, do I want the coal? It doesn't really matter. So we could put the coal on one side and the copper on the other. So that is fine. But what I want to do is I want to grab uh, steel furnaces. Now, let's have a quick look and see about this. So standard furnaces are crafting in... Um, one, uh, two per minute, is it? No, two, pollution two per minute. Crafting time, a half a second. Um, this is crafting time at three seconds. 0.5 seconds, three seconds. But the pollution, our crafting speed, two. Three second crafting time, 0.5 second crafting time. So why are we upgrading? Steel furnaces, crafting speed two. 
Hmm, I'm not sure. Why. I'm not sure, but I assume that it's a good thing to upgrade. So I really want to. Oh, look, the bots have made this. Okay, that, that is interesting. Well, we'll let the bots get on with what they can get on with, and that's that's fine. We can actually do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, our steel furnaces, and I've got some here. I'm going to make an array of 48 of them. And what I want to do is just go one. Here we go. Uh, so one, two, three. Actually, let's put a, a line down. So we want 24 on one side, don't we? Yes, we do. Now, I should be able to now go, um, is it uh, control C? And if I do this, does this tell me how many it is? It's 29. So I want 24. And I'm squashing them right up against each other, which is good. So we can get rid of five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that's how that'll go. I want to see if I can do this with better power poles as well, and we'll just do one side at a time. So we're still going to use the yellow inserters, and what I want to do is just, um, what we could do now is, uh, well we should, didn't need to do that, but we could uh, do this. Now I'm just getting used to play, <laughs> playing like this, uh, right, we do need to go, actually no, let's do this even better. Yeah, uh, player is in the way though, isn't it? Extend this by one, extend this by one, and then try it. Yep, let's do that, and that, and this will just let these guys put down some, some stuff. And this will ensure all the inserters are around the right way, and it's all lovely. So let me just make sure we've got all this running nice. Yep. And if I do that, and then go Control c again, I should be able to then paste this here there and that should be the full 24. Just going to check that and make sure. So we have a look here. It is 48. No, 24 but 48 of those. So 24 of the uh, furnaces which is great. And now what I want to do is if I flip this over and just paste that there. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, I can manually just get rid of this. Uh, I can get rid of these two as well. And let me go, uh, yeah, do this, and flip, flip, and then we'll have to reverse the belt, I think. We just need to make sure we remember to reverse the belt. Um, why have we got four of those in there? Ah, we've got far too many happening over here, which is interesting. Um, what have we done here? Two. So we need these to be here, and we need these to be here. Ah, we have a problem. Ah, yes, we do have a problem here, don't we? Hmm. Just get rid of some of these. Get rid of a few of these guys. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we tried to get that going interestingly, and it didn't. It went a bit silly, didn't it? And these guys are facing the wrong... No, these are facing the right way. Okay, so let's get this array going perfect first uh, before, we before we finish it up. Um, okay, let's just get rid of these. We will have to do this by manually, I think, just because I completely mucked it up um, with my copying and pasting. I think that is going to be an art with the copying and uh, pasting. Okay, so, um, and we'll do these guys like this. Yep. Um, right, now I should be able to now, let me try it again, we, we must practice, so we've got six only, so if I put them here, and then I put them here, and the player might be in the way there, can I get rid of these two, nope, okay, let's just go with, Right, uh, what have we got here going on? Okay, so these should all be facing downwards, and uh, I believe they are. No, they're not, they're facing the wrong way. Yeah, they're facing the wrong way, like an idiot, because I forgot. Uh, yep, yeah. okay, let's just make sure this all works. Uh, down, down, and up. Okay, so the bots will start putting these guys out. Okay, so that's all pretty good, I think. Now, let me see. If I copy now, please, this array, and I want to flip it, 
so we've got the furnaces in the right direction and these guys and we just need to then put that down if I shift click this will it work no if I control click it no what about if I just take these guys so if I go uh, control C and I just take the middle the middle of the section yes that might work let's try that so if we put that like this that would work wouldn't it that would be it yeah and I think they can do everything except got these guys yeah they go it's all in the working zone it's even in the logistics zone uh, and what we can do here is just go like this and place as many of these down as possible okay so we need to make one two three four five can I make five more no I can't I need some steel for that but that's fine we'll go back and get those a bit later okay uh, we now want to just bring this out here um, I don't believe my bots uh, I don't believe we have enough of the yellow inserters but let's start filling up some stuff here and getting in some power uh, now let's see about the power here so what we want to do this if we put it here will work if I go one and then two to every second one do this every second one next to the yellow ah they're starting to yeah they are getting the, the inserters there yeah that is good and then we do say that one because that's the exact spacing and then if we do the these here with this we'll just match them up and make them even and then we've got a nice array here what we could do is even grab um yeah we could even fix up our other our other ones um like we could fix up uh, these ones over here with the steel plates now if i go control c let me count how we got there we got 48 um, yeah, we've got 48 of the, of the, uh, the furnaces there, so that's great. Okay, cool. So let's get some copper and some coal going in. Um, and what we'll do is we'll bring the coal off here. And now it seems to be two things. One, we need the coal to do this. So let's do the coal doubling up. And then... Right. And then, and we'll do the coal coming straight into the top section. Yes, and then we're going to split. So we want this to be uh, here. So it'll be. Um, let me just try. This is like if I do sort of be say here to here, and what it might be then is trying to just get this right practicing for the next bus next time so let me see about this yep so coal will be going in uh, we do need to connect these guys up with this and that'll be a good way to do that uh, and that should bring copper out onto this line hopefully but we'll see we're not too sure Oop, we need to do one last thing and it is connect this in here and then the copper should be coming in uh, now that is great because we can get copper arrays going here um, maybe two of them at this lovely um, capacity and then what we'll do is we'll just have this coming out because they're not going to extend anymore we'll have this going I just don't know if this numbers the 20 I think the 24 slash 48 is um, is well actually yeah the 24 on each side 48 in total i just don't know if that is for the reg for the regular stone furnaces um again i haven't checked the ratios and stuff but let's build it and see how it is um and uh yeah then we can uh, then we can see how we go now i want to get to the bus and i want to get these guys up to the bus so let me think of the best way and then we can go now that we've got a better supply coming in and we'll get some other stuff made later uh, let me just bring this along here and if it's going to go to the bus hmm well it could be it could be interesting yeah 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 okay uh, let's go up yep now what we could do here is there's some steel going on but I'm just going to decommission these these ones at the moment because we've got a lot of stuff happening here uh, then I'm going to go Right, there we go. Uh, now we've got a bit of stuff happening here. So if I just uh, tidy up as I go, so let me get rid of this, get rid of this, take these off. 
then I should be able to just get rid of these guys and then please go into here and drop in uh, all of what do you got there uh, can we drop in some of this yes we can can we drop in some of this yes we can let me pick up the rest of this though and do it better because what I want to do is just go and control click these guys and then if I can just grab these and control click these guys that would be lovely and I'm just while I'm here I'm gonna pick up some some of this there's my bot supplying me pick up some steel and I'm going to make myself uh, I need to make Ooh, two stone bricks. No, I do need the stone bricks. Okay, that's fine. Continue on with what we're doing because we have the second uh, achievement for today to take care of. And I want to do that as well. So this will be a nice reinforced line here of copper. Um, just being absolutely lovely. Uh, now we can come up here and do this. Oop, we haven't got enough of those. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we do. Ah, we don't have enough of the belts. Uh, right, brilliant. Okay, well, we can finish that in just a sec. Uh, can I just manually make some belts? 20 of them. Um, that is that is grim. I mean, they're dropping me stuff. What are they dropping me? I think they're dropping me. I don't know if they're dropping me belts. I'm crafting and they're dropping me something. So let me see. I just want to get it up to here. Uh, and then we'll do, uh, let me do this all the way, give ourselves a bit of leeway here. And then let me pop, so we go forward one, and the next one is a curve, then the next one is one of these yellow ones, uh, sorry, uh, one of these yellow ones, and it's here. And that brings the coal su uh, copper supply into there, right down the bottom, and we can decommission these guys, and it's going to be fabulous. Okay, so that is brilliant. That is just brilliant. Yes. Um, yeah, look, we've only got a few of them firing up, but that's fine. Uh, we haven't got these guys there, but that is a full line. Nonetheless, that is a full line. So I don't know about the ratio on the numbers there. Feel free to comment about whether the ratio on the numbers are off slightly. Um, and we'll see. Now I want to now go ahead and set up green circuits and make them lovely. So I'm just quickly opening up because uh, I took a screenshot. I made this in a test build and of course this one is of course inspired by our favorite Factorio YouTuber herself. Yes, yes, yes. Oh look the whole lake is polluted. That is brilliant. Uh, is it one big lake? Yeah, it is one giant sort of lake going... No, oh, no, it's two lakes, really, because this is the land bridge. But it probably was one lake at some point, but that's lovely. Really polluted to the crap, which I love. I think that's great. Um, right, so we want green chips coming in here. So, the way we want this to go is... I'm going to start from the bottom here. And I do need... I'm going to need belts. So, let me just get a whole lot of crafting of belts going. And I'll quickly tell you what's happening there with the bus as well. The bus, I haven't been making um, four across, but I've been putting... Since since the start, I've been putting so many of the, um, just manually craft a few of these, um, I've been putting so many of the products onto the bus very stupidly from the very start, and this has really stuffed me up, um, because you just got a whole lot of stuff laying out there, it looks great, but you've got a whole lot of stuff laying out there not being used, uh, and I had four coppers and four uh, of the steel plates, four copper plates, four steel plates, just way too much, so anyway, not required, I'm going to leave a little gap of say four here, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to put this guy in, right? So this is where we're going to do it. And I'm going to use assembling machines twos, which I've got on the bus. And I've asked these guys to keep me topped up. So they'll keep doing that as well. Yep, 50 of those guys. Um, so we're going to use these guys. And I want to line them up with this. So very first thing I'm going to do is, and this is going to be, this is going to be double sided, um, is I want to make uh, three of these guys right next to each other. Yep. And then I want to put these guys being fed off both. Yeah, and that's how that's going to go. Now, let me just quickly have a look here. Yes, right. So these are going to be, uh, please, uh, they're going to be copper coils. And these are going to be the product that we're making green, green chips. And so, uh, alt mode, please. If I go shift, right click, then left, shift, right click, then left, we are off and running. So that is lovely. And I want to put that like that. Let's give him a little extension just in case he needs it. Yep. And then uh, we're going to have a, another input line going in here. Um, so let me do that for the moment. And then I'm going to have an output line heading back towards that. And I realize I've just put the robot port here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just relocate this robot port, please, to this nice little space here. 
he's gonna be there. Uh, and I'm just gonna decommission that, decommission this. Just so he's out of the way, and I'm gonna get one of these lovelies and go like that. So he'll charge up, and it's just a nice close robo portage. Uh, hopefully that doesn't have too many implications for what's happening downstream, but that's fine. Let's do this like this. Let's keep all these the same um, for now, and then we're gonna uh, sort it out. Now, let me get... So uh, what we want to do is let's get our products coming in first. So very first thing I want to do here is um, actually yeah, I want to put this guy going this way first and then I want to split this off. So don't forget the bus is running south at this point. So I want to split this guy off here and say this is our input for the lovely, uh, oop, what are we using with the, the keys here? There we go. Input for that just there, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and then I would also like to, please, is split this off and have it just next to the robot port, have it going down here. Nope, doesn't need to do that. No, it needs to split, but it does need to split off and go to here. So let's just do it. Um, let's just do it here. Doesn't matter where, really. And let's do this. And we go down one. And then we can go across. Yep, so that is that. Okay, cool. Now, I want blue inserters for these guys. So let's line them up in centrally, which is nice. Yep, and then I want, uh, please, red inserters. So let me just grab these from this at the moment. Uh, red inserters, and I'm going to put them right here. And this is basically going to output these there at a nice, not too fast speed. Uh, of course, I want to get uh, blue inserters here, and we want to go, uh, say, uh, one, two, and oop. Oh, Sorry, blue inserters, and we want to spin them and go one, uh, one and and two, and then one here, and then I want to put these guys from here to here and then here. Uh, in fact, let's do the same. If we're going to open up and load up, yeah, let's do two and two, so we know that there's lots of coils coming in, and let's do two and two here as well. Um, don't know if that is overkill there, but we know we're going to need a lot of copper in there as well. So let's just leave that and make it make it a nice symmetrical one as well. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Um, if I now grab uh, this, let me just uh, should I power pole? I'm not going to power pole just yet. I'm going to copy just the um, the array, but no belts except for the middle. yeah no belts, and I'm going to spin it and I want to place it here. Um, and that's going to be how that would work. Okay, so the bots can go ahead and start putting some stuff down if they like. And then I want to get the copper coming in here now. So let's get this copper line going back in. Yep, and what we can do here is just do a lovely belt, belts, and uh, please, we're going to... Oh, this is this this is lovely too. It's not even on the non-standing. Actually, I put it in the wrong spot there, but that's lovely. Okay, so this is good, and then we come out here. So, lots of copper coming out here. These guys are going well. Now, let me see about power poles. I'm using a, a medium power poles everywhere that I can at the moment. So, let me try with um, right on the corner here, and then right on the corner here. That won't work, will it? No. But we could do... Uh, what do we got there? Is it four? Jeez, if we did... Oh, actually, you know what? If we did one, two, and three three that gets them all and then we could just do the ones in the middle when we repeat the structure so that could work um yeah 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 that could work uh, and i've you know to get this going i'm gonna i'm gonna use one of these guys here and now we should get green circuits coming out the top section there now to put it on the top side of the belt the other one is going to put it on the bottom side of the belt so that'd be absolutely lovely um so that is good green circuits green circuits and we'll bring them into the bus let's get them beefed up first uh, so we want to grab, um, so we've got this one, uh, ooh. oh, no, no, we didn't, we didn't do it correctly, did we? No, we didn't. Yep. And I want to just grab that. We didn't do it correctly at all. What we need to do is just extend this guy to here first and then do the same thing. Now we can grab it with the power poles though. So if I grab this and the bots are coming from a long way to do their stuff. So flip it and place it yeah that's good okay let's see what the bots do with this and then all we need to do here is run now what we can do we've already got a feeder line off there so let's run our copper directly off the back section and run it up so if i come down here and we do yeah 
this. Uh, is it here? Yep. Yeah. And where do we have to go to? I think there is perfect. Yep, yeah, lovely. Okay, uh, and that means we can now go ahead and split this neatly like that. Thank you very much. And do that. The bots are charging up and doing their thing. They're making some stuff, and it is lovely. They're coming from a long way. The so-called mall is in it is is a long way away. Um, and I'm just going to queue these guys up myself. Um, and then have a look at this. You've got the red circuits there, so we start putting them out. So both machines are now making it there, which is great. The only thing I want to add to this is some lights. Let me add in, where would you put the lights? Oh, we could do a light here and a light here. That looks much better, and a light here and a light here. That is lovely. Okay, so that's green circuits, and what I want to do now, please, is I want to see if I can copy from, the, from here to there, and just see how close I can get these guys. There's good. So I can do that, and then I can do one more. Uh, it is in the ro robot's workable zone, but that would work there as well. Okay, let's see if they'll build that. I think they will, because we've got these blue level 2 ones um, there. Now, that's going to be, I reckon, heaps to get Yellow Science kicking along. And that has been a long time since we started Yellow Science and didn't have the goods to back it up, did we? we? We really started things off, but we did not have the goods to back it up. So, I'm going to please um, see this space here is, is, is just extra. Uh, let me do uh, this to this, then this to uh, here, and then just do this gone. Please, uh, gone. Oop. Oh God. Okay, we're 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 chockers, are we? Right, we are chockers. Oh yeah, the trashing is working as well, which is great. We are probably wasting a lot of stuff because they're moving stuff into trash. But we can get rid of these three just for the moment. And I can. What's the belt situation? The bots have topped me up with the belts. Oh, look at the moving. So it is great. Um, let me just continue on then with these, and then pick up. Uh, don't really want to pick them up, but we're going to pick them up anyway. Uh, I am going to just grab these now and just go here to here. And we know it's going to be here to here with... Oh. Let's just do this. And let's do that one down a bit. And let's do that. Okay, repair the brakes there and then I want to do uh, this and I want to do it slightly different I want to boost the lines together uh, so let's do this and that should bring in lots of that now, don't forget there's a backlog so don't get excited just yet but let's see I have a feeling they're going to produce and that's with only these machines uh, at the moment and I think the bots are off see one third of the array is built and we seem to be having a decent amount of green going in that is lovely this is going to absolutely fire up the next science which will start to start start off now so rocket control unit let's know let's do something that requires a lot of everything um, let's do stronger explosives uh, five is it stronger explosives five yep this one requires 500 of each um, of each of the five sciences there so let's do that one no purple science but we've got um, we're doing pretty well we've got purple science backed up it's the yellow science that this is producing quite a bit and if we go have a look at our uh, science array what we can see as well is, where is it? Where's the science array, people? Whoop, 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 there it is. Uh, yellow is not backed up. Yellow is coming in as it is. Um, now, it is working over there. And, of course, you can see yellow flickering on and off. So it is, it is supporting it nicely. But we can see here there's three. Um, there's a couple there. And yellow will come in on this line here. Yep, yellow's there. So yellow's coming in here. It's starting to pick up, is it? Well, it's sort of picking up a little bit. There's some space on the bus there. Yellow is meant to be coming up. Where is it? Yellow science. Where are you getting up the bus, people? Yeah, yellow, yellow science. Yeah, there it is. Yellow science. Ah, it comes up the side there. Look at that. God, that's a weird spot for it. Then it comes up to here. Then what does it do?
Ah, this guy picks it up and then puts it over there. Brilliant. I forgot about that. Lovely. I was thinking, God, it doesn't do anything. But it moves from belt to belt, which is interesting because we got it on the opposite side of the belt, which is lovely. I like that. Nice little design move from earlier on. Okay, let's see. Are these guys made anything here? No, but the green is not full, but it's certainly lovely. I think while we're here, let's run down. And we could have a bit of a look at the uh, provisioning of yellow science uh, and seeing whether we've got enough. Now, green chips, of course, are to make blue chips. And blue chips are absolutely kicking off now, aren't they? But, um, yeah, we'll see about this. They've got speeds, speed modules in them. How many products? Well, it needs to have plenty of this one. And how's this going? Let me just put my cursor on it and see. Waiting for source items. Oop, that's a long-handed inserter. What's this? Sulfuric acid chocker, which is good. Um, yeah, we might need to make more sulfuric acid to keep this going. But what I want to do, please, and I don't know why I've got a long-handed inserter there. Oh, yeah, because it's going over the pipe. Yeah, that is good. Okay. So what I want to do is just copy, please, um, this, this array and put this in here with the spacing yep and then I want to grab uh, if I can uh, that and just do that and this and this and of course we'll need the blue the blue array coming back and we will have to remodule these as well because we don't have them doing their um, their speed modules um, but uh, yeah we, we can see how it goes let's see the, the bots will make some stuff here but what they probably can't make uh, no, they should have access to everything. We've got... Yeah, I think everything should be right there. Um, hmm, I think so. I think I've started putting provider chests even for these big poles. So let's see how they go with that. I'd like to just let them do it. Here they go making some stuff now. So we'll let them get on with it. Uh, one thing I think I'll just quickly do is grab what of this that I have. And just go down. Oop, sorry, not uh, down. And, and let's go. let's go across. Let's see, just see how this goes. It'll run out. There we go. So, of course, I can um, I can get that uh, fixed up. And, in fact, uh, what I will do as well is let me grab uh, what I've got here because I've asked for 200 of these. Give this a couple of taps um, and let's see how quickly this runs out because we want to run the bus south. So, I think what we're going to do is try and run it uh, in a straight line, please. Thank you. There we go. So that's going to be where we run the bus. And I need to work out how to get these uh, get these guys to do um, uh, uh, land reclamation. But um, yeah, we need land reclamation all the way down here in all of this. And I'd like the bots to do that. So I'll have to work out how that goes. Uh, what we can also do is um, bring this guy down. Um, oh, actually, what we could do, you know what we could do? Um... Well, we don't need all this on the bus, do we? Well, we're going to keep it anyway. What is this? Motors. Mmm, motors. Okay, cool. It's an interesting little bus, isn't it? I don't think this is needed. Sticks and those guys. Um, no, they're not. But they're being used, and I think we'll decommission them from about here and just not have anything there. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. They're not being used beyond here. Where is the last time they get split off? Just want to see, so they don't get split off at all here. No. I might, I might run a decommissioning pro process here. Get these guys going up, off. Uh, yeah, they don't really do anything. And where are the sticks? The sticks are being made. Ah, the sticks are being made out there. Now, that's a byproduct. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is just buy ourselves a little space. Where are we going to do it from? We've decided we're going to do it from... Um, let's do it from... Let's do it from here. Hopefully, this won't cause an issue. Ooh. That might cause an issue. Uh, where are you going to? If you do this, can you still put that on? Yes, you can. Good. Yep, don't get rid of the wrong thing, please. Uh, these guys then go out because they're going around. We don't need that. Uh, we could do this. There's a bit of coal on there as well, which is interesting. Um, mm, they're topping me right up, aren't they? Yeah. Probably need to lower some of these uh, amounts. Can I get these guys to be... Um, can I get them to be less? Yeah, I can, can't I? Let's get them to be... Can I get them to be 20? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's get 20 of those. Let's get... 
20 those uh, and then we'll get let's get 20 of everything of these that'll be nice I think we just have too many of everything but 50 is a stack isn't it 50 a stack so it doesn't really matter for space on here, does it? No, and we're actually getting really, really full up. So let me just get, <laughs> yeah, we're getting proper full up. I don't, probably don't need these guys on there. Um, what we can do, what can we do? Oh man, um, God, I don't know what to do. I'll have to go and have a look at why the inventory is so full and how we get some more inventory space. Um, but yeah, that is lovely. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, let's see about this. These guys, are they made? They're, they're, oh, these guys are made. Now, what's the problem? What is your problem? Is it sulfuric acid? Is that the problem? Yeah, it is. They're not flowing, are they? Why? Well, it is. I just don't know where... Ah, we just don't have the... the these guys. Yeah, we don't have any of those, do we? Yes, we do. We'll just put it here, we we'll put it here, and we'll put it here. Okay, so they've got the sulfuric acid going there. And it actually, if they've got the machines, it actually works better when the actual machines are there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so we're actually getting there. I think yellow science is going to get there, but we need blue science to absolutely kick off. And I think we're going to need the speed modules. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use productivity modules. We are looking more at speed modules, I think, for the moment. But I'm thinking about a module farm next, um, which is probably a bit out of line. Uh, I probably should have used the module farm a little bit um, earlier. But nonetheless, um, put a module farm here get ourselves all of the modules and of course that's going to really tap into the circuits because we're going to need to use red and green circuits for modules I believe let's just have a quick look yeah they are speed modules now we can get these guys and of course um, speed modules and they take four of those plus the originals and these take uh, five of them of speed two plus the originals um, but we do get a um, speed plus 50 percent speed plus 30 percent i think we'll stick with this playthrough just the single modules this is our first time efficiency and productivity so um we'll have to see about that um i'm not overly fussed with efficiency because i think that's about power consumption and uh what i want to do yeah less 30 percent what i want to do is get nuclear energy and uh, not worry about power too much so i hope you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to comment like and subscribe to stitch up and i'll see you in the very next episode of factorio this is our lake world series cheers